Welcome to Astronomical Secrets, the channel that unravels the most fascinating mysteries of the cosmos. Today, we'll dive into a topic at the heart of world formation, protoplanetary disks. These cosmic nurseries are the stage where the spectacle of planetary system birth unfolds, including the one that once gave rise to our own home, Earth. Before we embark on this journey through the planetary nursery, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community of astronomy enthusiasts. If you appreciate content that explores the secrets of the universe, please show your support by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Your comments are extremely valuable to us, as they help us understand which aspects of the cosmos intrigue you the most. Now, get ready for a trip to the beginning of the history of worlds, where dust grains transform into majestic planets. In the vast theater of the cosmos, protoplanetary disks are the primordial settings where the first act of planetary formation unfolds. These fascinating structures are essentially flattened disks of gas and dust orbiting young, newly born stars. Imagine them as enormous cosmic vinyl records spinning in space with the young star at the center, as if it were the central hole of the record. The composition of these disks is a rich and complex mixture. The main ingredient is hydrogen the most abundant element in the universe, followed by helium. But it's in the heavier elements, like carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron, that the potential for the formation of rocky bodies and, eventually, planets like Earth resides. Protoplanetary disks are not static structures. They are dynamic, turbulent, and constantly evolving. As the disk spins, dust particles collide, stick together, and begin to form larger bodies. It's a process of cosmic construction that occurs on timescales of millions of years. A blink of an eye in astronomical terms, but an eternity on the human scale. The discovery and study of these disks represented a revolution in our understanding of planet formation. Before, scientists could only theorize about how planetary systems formed. Now, with powerful telescopes like ALMA, Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, and the Hubble Space Telescope, we can observe these planetary nurseries in action, witnessing the birth of new worlds in real time. The formation of a protoplanetary disk is a cosmic symphony, a dance of physical forces that unfolds over thousands of years. It all begins with the collapse of a giant molecular cloud in space. These clouds, composed primarily of molecular hydrogen, are the cradles of stars and, by extension, planetary systems. When a part of this cloud begins to collapse under its own gravity, it starts to spin. This is an effect of conservation of angular momentum, the same principle that makes a figure skater spin faster when pulling their arms close to their body. As the cloud contracts, it spins faster and faster. At the center of this rotating cloud, density and temperature increase drastically, giving rise to a protostar. The material that doesn't fall directly onto the protostar begins to flatten into a disk due to centrifugal force. It is this disk that will eventually become the protoplanetary disk. Disk formation is not a smooth and uniform process. Shock waves, turbulence, and magnetic fields play crucial roles, creating complex structures within the disk. Concentric rings, spirals, and even gaps can form, each telling a story about the physical processes at work. As the protostar at the center continues to evolve, it begins to emit radiation and stellar winds. These phenomena have a profound impact on the structure and evolution of the disk, sweeping away lighter gas and shaping the environment where future planets will form. Protoplanetary disks are complex and fascinating structures, with an anatomy that reflects the physical processes at work during planetary formation. Understanding this structure is crucial to unraveling the mysteries of planet birth. In the innermost region of the disk, close to the central star, we find extremely high temperatures. Here, only the most heat-resistant materials, such as metals and silicates, can survive in solid form. This region is the nursery of future rocky planets, like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in our solar system. As we move away from the star, the temperature gradually decreases. In a region known as the snow line, frozen water can exist in solid form. This line is not static. It moves as the disk evolves and the central star changes. Beyond the snow line, we find a mixture of ice, rocks, and metals, 
the perfect ingredients for the formation of gas giant planets and their rocky cores. Vertically, the disk also has a complex structure. On the surface, where radiation from the central star can penetrate, we find a disk atmosphere, composed mainly of ionized gas. Below this layer, there is a cooler and denser region, where most of the dust resides and where planetesimals, the building blocks of planets, begin to form. One of the most intriguing discoveries in recent years is the presence of gaps and rings in protoplanetary disks. These structures, observed with telescopes like ALMA, may be caused by forming planets that clear their orbits, or by complex gravitational resonances. Each ring and gap is like a fingerprint, revealing clues about the planetary formation processes at work. From dust to rocks, the first steps of planetary formation. The process of transforming tiny dust particles into majestic planets is a cosmic odyssey that begins in the earliest stages of protoplanetary disks. This process, known as accretion, is a true cosmic puzzle that scientists are still trying to fully solve. It all starts with microscopic dust particles, not much different from the dust we find in our homes. These particles collide with each other as they orbit the central star. At low velocities, these collisions result in the agglutination of particles, forming ever larger grains. As these grains grow, reaching sizes from inches to yards, they face a significant challenge known as the meter barrier. At this scale, collisions tend to result in fragmentation rather than growth. Moreover, objects of this size are large enough to be affected by the friction of gas in the disk, causing them to spiral rapidly towards the central star. Overcoming this barrier is one of the great mysteries of planetary formation. One theory proposes that high-pressure regions in the disk can act as dust traps, concentrating particles and allowing them to grow rapidly beyond the critical size. Another possibility is that electrostatics play a role, helping particles adhere more easily. Once bodies reach sizes of miles, becoming planetesimals, gravity begins to dominate the growth process. These larger objects can attract smaller material, growing through a process known as runaway accretion. It is at this stage that we see the birth of planetary embryos, the precursors of the planets that will eventually populate the system. Gas giants and rocky worlds, planetary diversity in disks. Protoplanetary disks are the incubators of a surprising diversity of worlds. From the formation of rocky planets like Earth to gas giants like Jupiter, each type of planet has its own formation story, closely tied to the conditions in the disk where it was born. In the inner regions of the disk, where temperatures are higher, we find the nursery of rocky planets. Here, only refractory materials like silicates and metals can exist in solid form. Planetesimals in this region merge to form planet-sized bodies through violent collisions. This process can take tens of millions of years and results in worlds like the terrestrial planets of our solar system. Farther from the central star, beyond the snow line, conditions are favorable for the formation of gas giants. The process begins with the formation of a massive rocky core, several times larger than Earth. Once this core reaches a critical mass, it can rapidly accumulate large amounts of gas from the surrounding disk, swelling to become a gas giant. Between these extremes, we find a variety of intermediate worlds. Super-Earths and mini-Neptunes, categories of planets we don't have in our solar system but are common around other stars, likely form under specific conditions in protoplanetary disks. A forming planet's position in the disk is not necessarily where it will end up. Planetary migration, caused by complex interactions between the planets and the gas disk, can move worlds inward or outward, drastically reorganizing the architecture of the forming planetary system. The diversity of planets we observe, both in our own solar system and around other stars, is a testament to the richness and complexity of the processes occurring in protoplanetary disks. Each planetary system is unique, shaped by the specific conditions of its natal disk. Observing the Invisible How Astronomers Study Protoplanetary Disks Studying protoplanetary disks is like trying to observe the invisible. These planetary nurseries are incredibly distant and difficult to see directly. However, astronomers have developed a series of ingenious techniques to unravel their secrets. One of the most powerful tools is interferometry. The Atacama Large Millimeter-Submillimeter Array, 
or ALMA, in Chile uses this technique to create high-resolution images of protoplanetary disks. ALMA can detect radiation emitted by dust grains and molecules in the disk, revealing detailed structures such as rings, gaps, and spirals. The Hubble Space Telescope has also played a crucial role in observing these disks. Operating in the visible and ultraviolet spectrum, Hubble can capture starlight reflected by the disks, providing a complementary view to that offered by ALMA. Spectroscopy is another vital technique. By analyzing the light emitted or absorbed by the disks, astronomers can determine their chemical composition. This provides crucial clues about the types of planets that may form in different regions of the disk. Astronomers also use stellar light variability to study disks. Fluctuations in the luminosity of a young star can be caused by structures in the disk passing in front of the star. This technique has allowed for the detection of dust clouds and even possible forming planetesimals. More recently, the James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of protoplanetary disks. With its unprecedented ability to observe in the infrared, Webb can penetrate deeper into the disks, revealing details that were previously invisible to us. These observations are complemented by sophisticated computer simulations. By modeling the complex physics of disks, Scientists can predict how they evolve over time and compare these predictions with real observations. Over the years, astronomers have identified and studied several notable protoplanetary disks, each offering unique insights into the process of planetary formation. Let's explore some of the most famous planet nurseries we know. One of the most celebrated is the disk around the star HL Tauri in the constellation Taurus. The images of this disk captured by ALMA in 2014 surprised the scientific community with their sharpness and detail. The HL Tauri disk displays a series of concentric rings and gaps, suggesting the presence of forming planets sculpting the disk. Another fascinating disk is the one surrounding the star TW Hydrae. This system is particularly interesting because it is relatively close, only 175 light years away, and is oriented face on to Earth offering a clear view of its structure. Detailed observations have revealed multiple rings and gaps, including one at the distance where water would freeze, potentially an ideal location for the formation of habitable planets. The disk around the star Beta Pictoris is also noteworthy. This system, in addition to a prominent disk, hosts at least two giant planets that have been directly imaged. The interaction between these planets and the disk offers a natural laboratory for studying the dynamics of planetary formation and evolution. An intriguing example of a more evolved system is the disk around Fomalhaut. This disk, known as the Eye of Sauron due to its appearance, is actually a debris disk, what remains of a protoplanetary disk after planet formation. Its sharp and eccentric structure provides clues about the history of planetary formation in that system. More recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has presented us with spectacular images of the protoplanetary disk around the star AU Microscopy. These infrared observations revealed structures never before seen, including jets of material being ejected from the disk, offering new perspectives on the turbulent processes occurring in these planetary nurseries. Each of these systems is like a cosmic time capsule, frozen at different stages of the planetary formation process. By studying them collectively, astronomers can build a more complete picture of how planetary systems are born and evolve. Despite significant advances in our understanding of protoplanetary disks in recent decades, several challenges and mysteries remain, spurring scientists to continue their investigations. These unresolved questions are the fuel that drives research in this fascinating field. One of the biggest puzzles is known as the meter problem. As mentioned earlier, Dust particles about a yard in size face significant difficulties in growing due to fragmentation and rapid migration towards the central star. Understanding how these particles overcome this obstacle to form larger bodies is crucial to our understanding of planetary formation. Another intriguing mystery is the rapid formation of giant planets. Observations of young disks suggest that gas giants can form on surprisingly short timescales, sometimes in less than a million years. This challenges traditional core accretion models and has led scientists to explore alternative mechanisms such as gravitational instability of the disk. The origin and evolution of the complex structures observed in disks, such as rings and spirals, also remain a topic of heated debate. 
While some of these structures may be caused by forming planets, others may result from complex hydrodynamic processes or magnetic interactions that we don't yet fully understand. The chemistry of protoplanetary disks is another area rich in unresolved questions. How do complex molecules, including the precursors of life, form and evolve in these environments? How does this chemistry influence the composition of the planets that eventually form? Moreover, there's the question of the diversity of planetary systems. Exoplanet observations have revealed a surprising variety of planetary architectures, many of which are radically different from our own solar system. Understanding how this diversity emerges from the initial conditions in protoplanetary disks is an ongoing challenge. Finally, there's the mystery of disk survival itself. Observations suggest that most disks dissipate within a few million years. How do some systems manage to form giant planets in this short period, while others fail? And what determines the final fate of a disk? The field of protoplanetary disk study is on the threshold of a new era of discovery, driven by technological advances and new scientific approaches. The future promises to reveal even more secrets about these cosmic nurseries and deepen our understanding of the origins of worlds. One of the most exciting frontiers is the study of disk chemistry at an unprecedented level. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled infrared observation capability, is allowing astronomers to map the distribution of complex organic molecules in disks. This may shed light on how the ingredients for life are distributed during planetary formation. Advances in adaptive optics technology are making it possible to observe protoplanetary disks at ever higher resolution from the ground. Instruments like the extremely large telescope, currently under construction, promise to reveal details of disks on scales comparable to Earth's orbit. Precision astrometry, made possible by missions like ESA's Gaia, is opening up new possibilities for studying the three-dimensional motion of young stars and their disks. This can provide crucial insights into how stellar and planetary formation is influenced by the broader galactic environment. Increasingly sophisticated computer simulations are allowing scientists to model the evolution of protoplanetary disks with an unprecedented level of detail. These simulations, combining hydrodynamics, magnetism, chemistry, and radiative transfer, are helping to bridge the gaps between theory and observation. A particularly promising area is the study of the connection between protoplanetary disks and the formation of moons around giant planets. Observations suggest that giant planets may have their own subdisks, where moons form in a manner analogous to planets in stellar disks. Finally, the search for biosignatures in exoplanets is intrinsically linked to the study of protoplanetary disks. Understanding how organic compounds are processed and distributed during planetary formation is crucial for interpreting future detections of potentially life-related molecules in exoplanet atmospheres. We've reached the end of our journey through the fascinating protoplanetary disks, these cosmic nurseries where new worlds are born. From tiny dust particles to majestic planets, each step of this cosmic odyssey reveals more about our own origins and our place in the universe. Protoplanetary disks are true astronomical treasures, windows to the past that allow us to witness the birth of planetary systems in real time. They show us that planet formation, far from being a rare or exceptional event, is a fundamental and ubiquitous process in the cosmos. As our observational tools and theoretical understanding continue to evolve, we are unraveling more and more of the mysteries of these planetary nurseries. Each new discovery not only answers old questions, but also raises intriguing new ones, keeping alive the cycle of curiosity and exploration that drives science. The study of protoplanetary disks constantly reminds us of our deep connection with the cosmos. The atoms that make up our bodies, the planets we call home, all had their genesis in disks like these, billions of years ago. We are, in a very real sense, children of the stars and the disks that surround them. I hope this episode has piqued your curiosity about protoplanetary disks and the processes of planetary formation. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and each advance in our understanding brings us a little closer to unraveling the cosmic secrets that surround us. If you enjoyed this journey through planetary nurseries and want to continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos with us, don't forget to follow the Astronomical Secrets channel.
Your likes and comments are extremely valuable to us. They not only help us reach a wider audience, but also guide us in choosing topics for future episodes. Let us know in the comments which aspects of protoplanetary disks you found most fascinating, or if there are other astronomical topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes. Your participation is crucial in shaping the channel's content and continuing to bring the wonders of the universe closer to you. Until the next episode, where we'll continue our journey through the astronomical secrets waiting to be revealed. Keep your eyes turned to the stars, for that's where the greatest adventures await us.